Stakeholders in Ghana's education space have over the years lamented how the country is lagging behind in terms of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. Although the Education Minister, Dr. Yao Seiduchum, says the government is putting in place more efforts to improve STEM education in Ghana, as more STEM senior high schools are being built, it appears very little is being done at a basic level. As a result of this, many pupils at the basic school level have little or no knowledge in practical science. It was all smiles as primary four, five and six pupils of the Cairn West Basic School took their practical exams. Speaking to Seat News after assessing the pupils of Cairn West Basic School, the headmistress of the school, Reverend Mrs. Irene Oswan Kansanda scored the need for stakeholders to develop a policy that will introduce pupils to science and other forms of practical education at the early stages of the academic journey. It would have been very good if the Minister of Education, Genius, could have a policy on this so that we have uh, all children having practicals, not only in science. In fact, we are not having uh, only science practicals in our school. We have it in art, we have it in almost all the subjects. And during exam, this uh, just ended exam, we have the children performing in music and in art and all other things as part of their examination. So I think that there can be a policy or there can be something, an advice to help uh, genius and then the ministry also do that. It will help all of us. It will help the future of the country. KMSC Basic School has done it. We have started. We've set the pace. And we think that all other children can do it. Um, I've spoken to my sister, uh, University Basic Schools, and they are glad. And I believe they will also roll onto it very soon. She also warns private schools to take advantage of the initiative. I'm also encouraging private schools to also adapt to the system of having practical exam. You know, it shouldn't be very difficult for private schools because um, parents are ready. And I think if they call on parents, they are stakeholders. They will help them and get these children to get the practicals and the more understanding into the science that they are being taught. Dex Technologies, producers of the science sex, believes local manufacturers have the adequate materials available which stakeholders can rely on in improving science, technology, engineering and mathematics education in the country. Ofori Charles Antipim is a co-founder of Dex Technologies Limited. There, there has been a lot of talk in STEM and the reason why it hasn't been possible to fully implement it has mainly been because of the lack of the materials. And now the materials are available. So that excuse no longer exists. And so the question is how to make that transition so that the stakeholders, their complaints can now stop and we cannot look at how we can adapt materials like the science set and other materials available to implement this new curriculum to its fullest and so i think there's still a lot of work to be done um, um and the, the stakeholders in the stem space still have a long way to go um we we, we are we at dex are playing our parts by making these affordable materials and user-friendly materials available um for 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 the implementation of the stem we all want Ofori Charles Antepem says his team is well placed to partner with the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service in replicating practical science examinations in various schools across the country. And we're also still knocking on the doors of um, the, the, the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education. Um, they haven't responded to us yet, but we are still knocking on their doors um, to uh, 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 help us bring this experience to students across the country. Teachers of Cairn West Primary School who guided their pupils in the practicals have also been speaking to City News. From what we have learned or what we have done here, I think STEM education, we cannot uh, look uh, down on it at all. I believe that if the whole nation will embrace it, all schools will embrace it, it will help us because um, when you go, the children outside this country are not better than our children, but it's just that the exposure 
So if we are able to expose them at this tender age and then we allow them to practice what they have learned, put it into practicality, I think it will help the nation and very soon it will be transformed. Now we will have children who are here also uh, organizing themselves and doing these things that the Japanese children are doing and other countries are doing. I think that all learners across the country should get the opportunity to practice with the, the, some of these things. In fact, um, it, it enlightens them, it, it ma makes them feel what they are doing. Previously, we would teach and everything is like in abstract form, but this time they feel it, they are experiencing with it, and they, the kids actually love it. Anytime it's time for science practical, you can see the enthusiasm, the, the zeal with which they come to the science lab, just because of the new kids that they have.